404 error here with another brawl hacking tutorial. Now I'd like to get right into this one because it's fairly complicated. This tutorial will be uh, making models in Google SketchUp and importing them as a stage into brawl. And that's fairly complex. So uh, first you'll need uh, Google SketchUp, Blender, Autodesk 3ds Max, uh, I can't really link to this one because it's not a free program, and you'll also need the C-Tools library for, believe it or not, Mario Kart Wii. Uh, oh, and Fort Waffles Model Fixer. Now open up Google SketchUp. Uh, And I won't really make a stage here, but I will open one that I have. And uh, this one. Yep, made this yesterday. And uh, just some notes. Uh, the average brawl character will be, I think, around 6 feet, uh, measured in Google SketchUp. And also this red line that represents the x-axis, uh, that will be the plane the characters fight on. So just make sure you're ready for that. Uh, so, uh, you'll want to file, export, 3D model, then you'll want to go not to DAE, but to KMZ and put it in a place where you can find it. It'll say exporting, then it'll finish, and then you're done with that. Now, go to that folder, and you'll see the file. Rename it to whatever the name is, .zip, .zip. Yes, you want to change it, because that will... Uh, make, I think, a more compatible DA. Now, you'll see in here, that is the model, and these are all of the textures that you use. Now open up Blender, delete the default cube, file, import, DAE, then navigate to that file, come on, Uh, excuse me. Oh, there. Import it. Make sure it looks okay. It does. Uh, you can switch it to textured mode down here, but since the video is lagging so much, I don't think I'm going to do that. Export it as an Autodesk FBX. Save that anywhere. This is just the middle step in getting it into 3ds Max. And you'll see the models right there in FBX format. This recorder is so dumb! Can't, can't really see what I'm doing. Wait for that to start up. Okay. Blah blah blah, etc. etc. Import. Whatever your FBX file was. Import that. That looks okay. All fun, good. Export it as a .opj. Change the directory to wherever you want, really.
Oh, but uh, before you do that step, you will want to uh, it will usually throw an error when you do that. To fix that, go to OSC, uh, wherever your program files are, uh, Autodesk, 3ds Max, uh, Maps, and then you'll want to drag all of your textures from that model in there. everything in this untitled folder. These. But I already did that in advance. Uh, now, open up wherever you have your BRRES editor from the CTools library. File new. That'll make a new BRRES. File, import, wavefront obj, uh, find it, there it is, import, there's all of your textures, there's your model, file, Save as <coughs> and just save it as anything. Now you'll want to close that. Now you'll want to take these three programs uh, header fix, mat fix, and polyfix. And first run header fix. When it comes up, select the model, the BRRES. Then mat fix. And finally polyfix. Now, there is the slight problem of this. On you can only view this in the newest version of Brawlbox, which is Brawlbox 64 or something. And if you save in that version, that you can actually see the thing. Uh, as of this moment, it will break the model so that it freezes in game. So, the way to work around that is, when you're doing the collisions for this stage, you will have to open it in the new Brawl Box, make the collisions there, and export it to be a... Uh, and then import it with the old Brawl Box. Uh, I don't really need to go over the step of making the actual stages collisions, but just make sure you never save anything with the model you just fixed in it in the newest version of Brawlbox, which is being developed by Blackjacks. Uh, he is making a DAE converter that will be a bit more effective, I like to think might write shaders better. Anyway, that's the tutorial. Until next time, I'm 404 Air. Thanks for watching.